find two 20 tooth gray gears and two 12 tooth black gears. Remove the wheels and the bushings on the axles until you can reach the gears on the robot. Take the old gears off. Place one of the new 20 tooth gears on the axle that goes through the motor and a 12 tooth gear on the wheels axle. Make sure the teeth on the gears mesh together, then replace the bushing and the wheel. Repeat this process to change the gears on the other side. Now, run the same program as before with 100% motor power and keep an eye on your robot. Finally, let's see what happens if we go the other way and put the big gear on the wheel and the small gear on the motor. Take the wheels and other pieces off again and swap the two gears. Put everything back on and run the program again. There's a saying that goes, there's no such thing as a free lunch. That is, you can't gain something without paying for it in some other way. It may look like changing the gear ratios let you speed up the robot for free, but is there a hidden cost somewhere? Let's see how much the robot can push. Configure the robot's gears to the fastest combination you found during your testing. Gather a stack of textbooks and move the robot into position to push one of them. Download a moving forward program onto the robot. With one finger, push down firmly on the back of the robot so that the wheels won't slip, then run the program. If the robot pushes the book, add another book and try again. Keep adding books until it can't push the stack. Note how many books it took to stop the robot. Now, swap the robot's gears around so the wheel gear and the motor gear trade places. Repeat the pushing experiment and note how many books it can push with this gear configuration.